it's to the point where there's seasoned agents that are 20, 30 years in the industry up against agents that are two or three years, kind of brand new, not a ton of experience. Obviously, the seasoned agents have got the more deals under their belt. But I'm telling you, that agent that's two or three years, that's all over social platforms and they're all on video, they look like a professional. Welcome to The Raquel Show. This show is for entrepreneurs who want to play bigger in business and in life. And today, I have a very special guest and that I've had the honor and the privilege to have front row seats at the growth of one of their companies. They are also the magic behind all the videos and the clips and all the magic behind our events. They were actually the ones at our Turks and Caicos retreat. And it was crazy because we were all still trying to figure it out. And you always appreciate the partners you work well with. He has been in the real estate industry for 11 years, who has sold $375 million of residential real estate and is the co-founder of Envision Media and is a great husband who's also married to an entrepreneur herself, Jill. And uh, they have a children's hair salon and they have three beautiful, is it three beautiful it's children? Three. It's three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's very a- like their kids are active. So welcome to the show, Brooks. Landry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is, this has been a little, uh, a little bit of a, not a, not a tough time getting together, but I've, uh, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And you've, you've been unbelievably supportive from us from day one. So you're awesome. Oh, Thank you. I was like, how do I invest in this company? And we're going to get all into it um, <laughs> because I knew the light at the end of the tunnel. I could see the future, even though where they were just like kind of starting out, I was like, dude, you guys are so needed in this space. So Brooks, you own multiple businesses. What made you decide to even open up another business? Was it part of the plan or was it something that that what you saw a need and you were just like, okay, I'm going to do that. Or was there a frustration yeah. You know, how did it all start for you? Yeah, well, a lot of, you know, businesses do start from that, right? Where it's needs, it's frustration. For us, it was, you know, business partner and I, Roland, he's in real estate as well. We needed something where we had a different look when it came to our listing videos. The, just the exposure of our clients and promoting properties, representing buyers. We were lucky enough to uh, to connect with Guillermo, as you know, has is, is worked with you many times. He's the creative genius behind it all. And he kind of put it together. Long story short, we started to kind of create these promotional listing and coming soon videos for our clients. And then it really started to kind of pick up because typically, you know, here in the Bay Area, our competitors, you know, have incredible market share, but everything looked the same. It was like, you know, the same pianos in the background. It was the same kind of drone. And Guillermo came in, just switched it all up. And then it just kind of grew and grew and grew. And now we're at the point where uh, we're, we're handling quite a bit of content for for it. So it just continues to kind of grow. But that was the reason behind it. We needed to get something a little bit different. And um, we wanted to expose our brand. So this is kind of where we're at right now. Well, you definitely found gold, not only in the market, but also with talent, because I believe that Guillermo is like our benchmark. right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's a very tough benchmark to, I think, find. We got really lucky, really, really lucky. It's funny because I met Guillermo when he was with another company and that company was foolish enough to let him go. And we're like, oh, you know, let's, we got to latch onto him as quick as possible. And then as it kind of grew, we've got a handful of editors and shooters, Johnny and Val and Jesse and everybody within the, just incredibly talented, hard, respectful, hardworking, Mm -hmm. just great, great people. So I, I don't know how we get so lucky, but yeah, we have a hell of a team. Well, I love it. And, you know, people, like I said, have a hard time making one business successful and you have several and how do you manage your time and your focus with running multiple business and a family? It's, as you know, incredibly difficult with my wife and my three kiddos and multiple businesses. Communication is a big deal. There's no way I'd be able to be able to do anything without her, you know, without Jill in, in the background. She is she is the uh, the backbone for sure. She's definitely the boss, the leader. But it's really difficult. I think communication is is key, just like in any relationship, whether it's, you know, with your wife, your spouse or just with your business partners as well. 
creating systems that don't overwhelm you, but still at the end of the day, you're getting something done where you can still progress a little bit more. I would say it's the systems. It's it's definitely the help and being able to lean and trust your your team that they're going to get the job done if, if for whatever reason you drop the ball. So it's that I'd say that's probably and you know that you know that firsthand. I mean, with your kiddos and everything that you guys have going on. Mm -hmm, for sure. And do you split your time like one day is real estate, like for those that are listening, one day is real estate, one day is envision, one day is or it's half a day. Like, how do you get so much? Like, how do you get through your week? Yeah. So I've, I mean, I've kind of, I've kind of stepped back a little bit from production as far as real estate, because I really want to put a ton of time into envision. I see the value I see. I mean, it's not every day that you do have a team kind of going back to the team that we get so lucky to have somebody, a, a bunch of guys that are, that are working well with us. I break it down into, I start every day off real estate and I've got a little acronym that I put together and it's LLC, it's listings, leads, and creative. So I start off every morning going over any listings that I have, any coming soons, any, any pending sales, updating clients, and just try to get that out of the way. Once I'm finished, I move on to leads, any A buyers, B buyers, clients that have shown initiative and are ready to either buy or sell and the people that, that are responding to you. And then that C is creative and the creative portion of it kind of ties into the envision por portion of it, where I can batch content. I can go back in the studio, Guillermo or anybody on the team can set me up and, and I can handle whether it's podcasts, interviews with, with professionals like yourself, or just creating business batching content for myself. So LLC, and then the C kind of turns into the Envision. Um, our other business is a uh, is a children's hair salon. My wife is handles all of that, so I'm not going to really take any credit for that. <laughs> um, but but that's yeah, that's how I kind of I divvy up the day. Shout out to Jill. Yeah. So yeah. now that there's two entrepreneurs in the house, and I know that there are several people in our audience that may have a significant other or a partner that is also an entrepreneur, how do you balance the business and the relationship and the family? Or do you guys talk about it all the time? <laughs> I mean, honestly, we talk about it all the time, you know, it's it, it, what it makes it difficult because we're, we're all passionate about it. We love the little accomplishments or even, you know, unfortunately, dwelling on some fails that that you have. But, um, you know, Jill and I, she, when when we first got together, it was we were in the mortgage industry. And then we, we we've always kind of had this entrepreneurial spirit. It's always been me and her, whether we're door knocking in the middle of the summer for hours on end. It's always something that we've built. You know, if she was here, she'd say you you won't shut up about Envision. You're constantly talking about it. But she's a trooper. You know, she she hears and you know responds. The kids even know about it. The kids are, are, are as dialed. My my little girl is starting to edit her own little videos and put them on like Roblox and stuff like that. Check this out. So it's it's cool. It's but yeah, I mean it's tough to kind of get away with away from it when this is all I eat, sleep, and drink is is are these businesses and my fam. Yeah. So what is the biggest challenge that you face today? Besides the kiddos? <laughs> besides, besides I didn't the know that they were a no. challenge. <laughs> Raising three little rugrats. How old are they, by the way, for those yeah. that are listening? So uh, 13, 10, and seven, boy, girl, girl. And uh, in fact, after this, we've got, I got football practice and cheerleading with the, with the, with the girls. Biggest challenge I'd say is, is really kind of staying in my own lane. I think too many, I think too many businesses or, or, or entrepreneurs get caught up on trying to be on different levels, right? Especially with social media right now, you see what some person's doing, like, God, am I doing enough? Am I, do I, do I need to ramp this up a little bit? And it's natural to kind of feel that insecurity of, I don't think I am working enough. Maybe I need to open another business. Maybe I need to do this because this person or she has that, or he has that. So I think the big challenge for me is business wise is keeping those blinders on and just keeping to the systems in place daily and just continuing, continuing to grow and just understanding that even a small win at the end of the day is a win. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how big it is. And, and mm -hmm. um, as long as you're progressing and moving forward, you're going to be in good shape. Yeah. Speaking of systems with the system that you can't live without besides your LLC. It's really my LLC. <laughs> that, 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 like that's the big deal. It's um, you know we have our morning meetings and whatnot, which is definitely productive and kind of going every over everything with the team. But the LLC does. It's just the easiest way for me to stay sane and make sure I get something done every day. 
Well, I love it. And I'm sure the audience will always remember it forever. <laughs> so let's talk about Envision. Envision mm -hmm. Media is at the forefront of content. Tell like the audience, like what really is Envision? Well, I know we talked about listing videos. You guys wanted to come to the market with something different. Like what is Envision? Yeah, so Envision Media is a video production company that we primarily started off with in the real estate space. We just, it's what we know, me and Roland know, Guillermo had shot a ton of videos with agents before creating this company with us. And then, you know, I'd say it's probably about 70, 75% of our, of our revenue of our business on, on a monthly, yearly, yearly scale. The other 30, 25, 30% is events. You know, we've been lucky enough to be able to work with you and companies like uh, Xbox and Microsoft and the Culinary Edge and a bunch of other companies that are outside real estate, which is great. I think what is, you know, a, a great thing about us is we're really client focused. We we try to kind of back back build value, if that makes sense, in the sense that we want to figure out what the client's looking for and try to build as much value with them as possible. You know, it did start off with listing videos. It started to morph into content creation. And you were a huge part of kind of creating this where we had our content day. We'd have agents and lenders from the Bay Area come come into our studio here in Pleasant Hill and, and we'd shoot their content for three or four hours, scripts and interviews, and we'd batch short form content. And over the past few months, we've really taken the success that we've had and our clients have had through those content meetings. And we started to roll out what we're calling a virtual content hour. And essentially what it is, is we're taking that content. We've got a team of writers that are consistently writing scripts and, you know, short form video engagement. And we're essentially doing a zoom call with our clients while they record it. Once they're finished recording, it's a bi-weekly coaching session, if you will. At the end of each session, they're going to upload six scripts or six videos, whichever we've gone over, whether it's articles or any one of our content pillars that we have on the menu. They'll upload it to this application that we almost have finished. We have been going at this for months. Um, once they upload the videos to the application, it comes back to in-house. We edit it to their brand with captions and graphics and color, color grading the whole nine yards, and then we send it back to them through their portal. I think what's really cool about this, the portal, or I should say the app is integrated with 10 different social media platforms. So it's essentially a place where they're going to set it and forget it. And they're going to build all of their social branding through video. And it's it's going to be connected to BombBomb and MailChimp and little, little places like this. So it can actually touch their database. So they'll grow their digital, but it's going to also connect with their physical farm or any leads they brought in. So we're excited about it. We've been, we've been beta testing this for a couple months now. We've really kind of pushed it out. We've been working with a lot of agents all over the country, from Maine to Florida to SoCal, Arizona, Nevada, and we're getting some pretty good reviews out of it. So we're launching, we should officially launch the first, uh, first week in September. So we're pretty pumped. I love it. What I love about Envision the most, especially as they serve in the real estate industry, and a lot of our audience is in the real estate industry, is that you guys understand it right? Yeah. As a business owner, as a realtor. So you know, exactly. It's not some other media company that's creating scripts of what they think might work. You right. know, you, you guys actually have the experience. Yeah. And, and I think that gives us a little bit of a leg up with our competitors because we structure our content, our topics around what I've heard at the listing table for the past 11 years. And, you know, prior to real estate, I was a loan officer uh, for about seven years. And so I've got that 17, 18 year kind of experience within the space to take the fails and to take all of the objections that I've heard. And we build the content around that. We do mix some trending topics and kind of what's changing with interest rates, the election coming up, how that could potentially affect local real estate markets, all the way down to kind of hyper local scripts that are prepared through publications local to wherever the the client is but you know we put our realtor hat on and it's for realtors by realtors and i think that's uh, i think that's gonna what that is from what we're seeing i'm um, definitely holding a lot of value so you basically make real estate agents right authority figures or community influencers by giving them the proper scripts and giving them even how to say it. I'm sure you're coaching them on how to say it because now all of them were built as content creators. And right. that leads me to my next thing. It's like, how important is that content creation right now in this day and age, even to their brand? It's, I mean, it's, it's vital not to be too dramatic, but if you're not 
focusing on video right now to grow your brand in any service space or even uh, sales uh, retail space, you're probably going to get passed by. I was having a conversation with an agent a couple of days ago that earlier this week, and we're kind of going over the benefits of, of why video is so important. And it's to the point where there's seasoned agents that are 20, 30 years in the industry up against agents that are two or three years, kind of brand new, not a ton of experience. Obviously, the seasoned agents have got the more deals under their belt and they've seen more objections and been through many cycles. But I'm telling you that agent that's two or three years, that's that is all over social platforms and they're all on video. They look like a professional. They look like they've been at it for a they while. Have authority. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do have authority. And if and if properly coached with content and scripts and uh, just content that is relevant, whoever's top of mind usually wins. Is is really the way it is. So it's it's super important. I have a couple of people in my yeah. mastermind that, you know, when it comes to these social media platforms, TikTok, a lot of people d- didn't think that TikTok you know, had a younger crowd, it was for teenagers or the younger generation. And there was no way that I should be on it. If if I'm a real estate agent looking for clients, well, I can tell you that like, there are several cases where the daughter or the son has told their parents about who to interview because they saw them on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, we had I was talking with Eric um, and Byron Lizzie and broke agent about kind of just search engines and how TikTok and Insta more more TikTok, but TikTok search engine is is starting to if hasn't surpassed more searches through Google, which is incredible. I mean, it's like you go to TikTok or you go to Instagram or YouTube or whatever the case. For example, we're setting this up and we we're, we're trying out new new cameras, and I come in and Guillermo's you know looking up on YouTube just different ways to set it up. That's the search engine that a lot of the younger demographic is 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 looking towards. Whereas you know. I'm I'm a Google guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what I think I, is really interesting. You said it's vital to somebody's business. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you take a look at a lot of your agents or to pick an agent in your marketplace and put it in Google, if they have social media, if they're on social media platforms, their LinkedIn, their Instagram will come up before their mm-hmm. own website and before even Zillow now. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. And that's where even when we were building out this app and, and integrating with different platforms, Google business profile was an absolute must where it just auto autom- automatically populates with captions and or wherever you're posting through, but it's incredibly important to be out there. So, yeah, I mean, when I first, my son was, you know, the, the, the TikTok King and, and he's like, dad, what are you doing? Like, this isn't for you. And I'm like, I don't know. Let me play around with it a little bit, but he actually helped me out kind of learn about the platform. And, uh, he's like my little coach. So. Yeah. My kids are the same. They are all about TikTok and Snapchat. And yep. so they give me lots of feedback on our, on our videos. So <laughs> what I love about Envision if you guys didn't hear it and you guys are hearing them for the first time is definitely reach out to them because they have the knowledge, especially if you're in the real estate space, they have the knowledge that can help you shortcut the learning curve as well as their app where it's, it becomes a lot easier for them to even try to figure it out. Cause it would take you years or, uh, you know, lots of classes to even learn it. So you know, gross. you know, firsthand the, the ups and downs that, that, mm-hmm. you know, that we've had with this. So thank you. Versus. Yeah, if you could give the audience one piece of advice, what would it be? Focus on your niche, focus on what you're doing and try to master that versus the three to four to five side hustles to try to combine it into one. And it kind of goes back to what do I struggle with? It's I, I try I tend to sometimes go in different ways when really I need to be right back in my lane. And once I'm in my lane, I know my lane and I'm great at it. And I think that's that's the piece of advice I would say. It was stay focus on what you're doing, what you're good at, stay in your lane, put the blinders on for a little bit. And once you dominate that, then start to move in, into different directions, directions that you could leverage what you've already mastered into there. Which also leads me because you are all about content creation, video. Mm-hmm. What would you say when it comes to standing out? There's a lot of people and I'm sure people are listening like, hey, I am on social media, but how do I stand out from everybody else? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny because a lot of people act as if too much and the ones that have great engagement the ones that see a a, a great return is when you act when you're yourself be yourself do your thing be knowledgeable and be able to speak 
on whatever subject that you're that you're working on to a point where you know it does bring you as an authoritarian figure but be yourself i mean that's the thing that's kind of like the whole thing in life right it's like let's not act as if let's focus on what makes you happy and and the right people will be attracted to you i feel like when when people push too much you start to attract the people that that aren't always the best for you and that slows you down that holds you back yeah. And I think that's why video is so key in today's marketing yeah. is because you get to see somebody's personality. You get to see how you, they interact before you even interact with them. Right. Yeah. I'm with you. That's, I mean, I talk to people daily about that where it's like, we all know Raquel can sell the property and represent me as a buyer, but that video is how, what's her personality like? Are we going to vibe? Am I going to trust her in the home Saturday and Sunday, one to four to sell my property at the open house? And that's kind of, that's the big thing. I think that's where video shows your, your personality and uh, uh, mannerisms. It builds trust so much quicker. It builds rapport so much quicker. It's almost like with your videos and your assets out there on social media, you have already won before you arrived. Yep. And I think there is no better company out there that can service and that can make you look like an expert than Envision. So what's next for Envision? Uh, well, we're in the process of launching this, of launching this this content hour. The, we've been really putting so much time into that and, and, and really st trying to not, I think we, we do a heck of a job maintaining our clients, just growth of their brand and their exposure of their listings. But what we're really focused on right now, again, staying in our lane is just knowing this content hour and just, just handling it and, and trying to build as much value for agents and lenders as we possibly can through through uh, through this. So that's it. Don't, don't, steer, that's don't steer me off. This is this is it. I know. And I was going to give you a really cool idea. I was like, you know, what would be really cool. Yeah. It's like if you guys did a video challenge for all the agents and submitted it <laughs> as like a one up. We'll see. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. And we're, well, what we've been, I love the idea. What we've been doing is as we launch this, we're kind of beta testing and trying different angles, different, different backgrounds, different mics, the whole type of thing where we're giving out two free videos and two free scripts that we coach everybody through. So as we continue to build this and then we send it out to them, no cost, obviously we handle all the editing, everything's 100% free. It's just about 15 minutes of the day, but we gain so much data from that yeah. of what works and what isn't because we've been doing it in house for the past year. But yeah, I love the idea. I, love <laughs> I was it. like, they're going to start doing some video challenge and we're going to see all these agents it's and <laughs> you're, you're, it'd be really cool to see what goes viral. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to see. I mean, in fact, I think we've got, I mean, Guillermo's in there working right now, but we've got an incredible amount coming soon. So they'll be coming out. I love it. Where can people connect with you? Yeah, uh, Envision Media on Instagram at Envision Media, Facebook as well, TikTok as well, same thing at Envision Media or just EnvisionMedia.com. My Instagram handle is Brooks Landry Group. So, um, yeah. and where do you guys sell for those that are listening to you right now from all over the world? Yeah, so we are expanding nationwide. So we're actually taking accounts right now to work with any realtor in the country. So we've built out the infrastructure, we've got the team behind us, we've got the editing, we've got the content, we've got the scripts, we're actually updating these every month to stay top of mind and to stay relevant. So we're yeah, we're pushing out nationwide. We've spoken with a handful of people north of the border in Canada. And there's, uh, there's verbiage issues when it comes to real estate and uh, here in Canada. So uh, we're eventually we'll be there. But again, we're going to focus strictly, um, if not locally to the Bay, we can service anybody in the country. I love it. And as we wrap up, there's always one question that I ask every single person that comes on our show is what does Brooks do to play bigger in business and in life? <laughs> I was thinking about this. I ask questions, right? I ask a lot of questions. I'm not scared to ask questions. And I think um, it's funny because if my brother was here, he'd be like, uh, growing up, you'd always be like, what if? But what if we could do this? And what if we did that? And I'm always looking up. And and uh, I think that's one of the big things. I'm, I'm not afraid to ask the questions, even, you know, anybody older, younger, I think you can always learn. And I think if anybody is going to take anything from that, from this is just ask. I mean, well, I mean, you know, the, the, the only way you're going to find out if you're able to do it, if you can get something done is, is to ask and to surround themselves around the Raquel's of the world and, uh, and other professionals that have done it multiple times over and can teach you how to do it. Love it. Well, thank you so much, Brooks, for of being course. on our show today. I appreciate you. I love seeing you guys grow. And you guys are only going to keep getting bigger. And I love playing bigger with all of you guys, everybody at Envision. And you guys just can probably tell from this episode how much I adore Envision. And we would not have the events and we would not have the footage and we would not even know about video had it not been for them.
<laughs> You're the best. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you so much. Why did this take so long for us to get together? That's because amazing. Brooks always says no to speaking on podcasts and events unless they're my clients. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to play bigger now. That's what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.